I've run marathons uh, years ago. And I always say this, that the hardest part of a marathon is actually not the marathon, is the training. The training is really, really tough. And if you do it in a proper way, by the time you get to the marathon, that should be not easy, but a lot easier than if you didn't do it. And so I decided that I was kind of floating in some of the things that I was doing with my exercise. And so I decided, you know what, I'm going to do a 14 week half marathon training and just jump into week seven. Cause I feel like my, my fitness is at a level where I, I probably could, you know, uh, be at the point where I'm okay with week seven. And what's been beautiful about this process is I don't really think about what I have to do. I don't say like, ah, maybe I'm gonna do this today. I'm gonna do this. I, I know, you know, basically seven weeks ahead what I'm gonna do, you know, Friday, uh, you know, five, six weeks from now. And it's, it's been really helpful to me because it, it takes away that choice of what I get to do. And so I don't really debate it at all. I just, I, I don't really worry about how do I feel that day? What's the weather like? Any of that stuff. I just, I've committed to this. I'm going to do it. And what's interesting, I don't actually have any race that I'm planning to run. I just wanted to do the training. And if a race happens to be close to that time, great. But it's not my focus. I, I do have a goal of a time that uh, I want to run in and uh to fit to complete a half marathon and so if i do that just solo if i actually enter a race uh, I'll, I'll kind of figure that out and it is kind of tweaking some of these things that i've been doing because well i do half marathon training you know going back to my advice earlier well i do half marathon training um you know seven you know seven months from now i don't know maybe maybe not but what i i think i'm trying to learn through this process is having those, you know, specific goals of what I'm going to do. So I don't kind of float. And so I make really good use of my time. Uh, when I exercise, when I make better use of my time, the time seems to go quicker and I'm more efficient with it. And I think that's what I'm trying to figure out, you know, through this process. So that's a little bit, I'm doing some of that stuff, but I'm also, you know, taking a little time to write each day. Uh, and when I feel inspired to create something and I, I feel that is, um, what I'm doing right now. 